Hello everybody, dmart 95 here, and this is a part two of our video series on how to install a big bore kit. We're installing a Tata 61 millimeter. I've already moved everything from the part one, and here we go with the installation. The first thing you'll notice is your gasket kit. Be careful when you pull this out, you're going to have, let me go ahead and get it out, your wrist pin, your piston wrist pin. And then go ahead and pull the beautiful Tata cylinder out. Tata is considered in the moped community to be about the highest quality of item you can get. There simply are no higher quality parts available for a GY6 engine than Tata. These are all Taiwan manufactured. Uh, it's the best you're going to get. This is a 61 millimeter. Now Tata pistons and big bore kits, when they come, they come with the piston rings already installed and gapped you don't have to do anything except see it's even uh see right here where it says intake this will be your intake side like when it's on there your intake manifold you don't have to do anything everything's lined up the piston rings are clocked and gapped already so all you do is you push your cylinder out until you see the bottom ring now you don't if you push it out too far it's going to pop out and you're going to have to compress your rings back in so let me go ahead and get it where it's got to be okay this is how you're going to want it you're going to want this hole completely exposed because we're going to be putting our wrist pin through there that's about how far you're going to want it right there just like that and you don't got to worry, it's not going to fall out. It's nice and snug in there. When I apply the gaskets, I like to use Permatex Copper Spray -a Gasket. This is not a sealant. All this does is it sprays a little fine copper particulate matter onto here and it fills any porous gaps that are in there. It's basically, uh, I don't know, a gap filler in between the gasket uh, surface and the cylinder base. So I'll go ahead and get this coated. You only want to apply a very, very light coat. All right, now the very first step you're gonna do here is remember to slide your dowel pins on. You have two. One down that one, one down that one. Now apply your gasket. Now that you have your gasket on, so go ahead and slide the cylinder down. You're going to want to make sure that your uh, rod is at top dead center because you're going to slide it down to this point, put the pin through, and then put your clips on to secure your pin. So like I said, slide it down like so. Right on through. And you'll see it has little grooves in this circle where you're going to be putting your little circlets. These are the clips. Now, I wish I could get this on video, but I'll probably be in the way of the camera. Uh, I like to get it like this, grab like the dash part on the G on the clip. That way, when, what you're gonna do, you're gonna put it in there and this will give you your leverage to push down. All right, so once you have your wrist pin secured with the clips, go ahead and slide it on down. Okay, so there we go. The cylinders all the way slid down. Um, you can always tell genuine Tata products because it will always have a logo on it. Right there, you can see the Tata stamp on it. Now we're going to go ahead and...
We're gonna go ahead and put our head gasket on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with some copper spray real quick. All right, so here we go. Go ahead, put your dowel pins on. You have two. They will not go in the same spot as the cylinder. On the cylinder, they're on the other side. Well, this is a cylinder, but uh, this is the top part. You're gonna go one there, one there. All right. All right, grab your head gasket. You can see it's sprayed with copper. If you see any runs or you got it too thick, throw it away. Don't don't try to use something that's got uh, too much copper spray on there. A light dusting is all that's needed. Any more can actually mess you up. Now is a good time to go ahead and put in your second chain guide. For this build, we're going to be installing the NCY 61 millimeter uh, cylinder head got 12,000 rpm rated springs and large ports now that we've got the head on there go ahead and install your uh, case alignment pins once your case alignment pins are on go ahead and install your camshaft on this build we're going to be using a Tata T300 high performance made for high rpms this is what you want if you're going after top end speed is the T300 now, when you install your camshaft, this hole will be facing towards the top of the engine. And you have to have your flywheel, this thing, on the side of it. It's got a T with a line. You're going to want that lined up at top dead center. I've got that detailed in many more videos, so I'm not going to bother with getting, it, uh, getting the camera focused on it. You can see how to put it at top dead center with a lot of my other videos. So I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, camshaft. It's very easy. Uh, just kind of dip it under the chain. Once you have the camshaft in there, go ahead and put your rocker cradle on. Your rocker assembly. They'll be marked EX. Stands for uh, exhaust. That's always going to go to your exhaust side. So on this engine, it'll be going like this. Exhaust is down here intake up here once you get the rocker assembly back on go ahead and put your nuts and bolts on or your nuts and washer I should say these are all going to be m12 hardware requires a 12 millimeter to remove and assemble so let me go ahead and tighten those down all right once you get that tightened down go ahead and put your two long bolts in the side over here one two I'll go ahead and sync those real quick all right now the next step I had to do was adjust the valve lash for the intake you always want it to be a little bit smaller than the exhaust for the intake I set it to four this is all metric and it just blew apart did you see that great Chinese quality stuff right there anyways so that fell apart but anyways i adjusted the valve last to four on the uh, uh, intake six down here on the exhaust all right so now we're moving on oh i should note uh if you want to see how to adjust the valve last just watch my other videos i got detailed process of it in many many videos you want to make sure you're at top dead center and uh, make sure you're aligned over here on your timing mark aligned up here at the camshaft eyelet all right I'll be right back all right now next step what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put in the camshaft uh, chain tensioner this is keeps tension on your chain uh, in order to have the plunger come back in use a screwdriver or the little key to turn it clockwise and that will reach retract the plunger back up in there once the plunger's in go ahead and use the key to put in the little slots right there I'm trying to get them you can see how the keys locked it in and uh if you don't have this little key just use your screwdriver to hold it in place 
All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and install that. Just simply put, don't forget, you gotta put your gasket on there. And then it'll sit like that. Now, when you tighten this down, do it like this, stagger. Go to this side. This side. This side. And then this side. Pull your key out. And then put the screw in. All right, now that the camshaft tensioner is on, let's go ahead and put the valve cover on. All right, when you install your valve cover, you're gonna wanna make sure the gasket is flush down with the surface. All right, now go ahead and sink your bolts to tighten down the valve cover. Go around in a pattern like this. One final time. I mean, you might also want to go in a star pattern. I don't really know. I don't think it matters that much. All right. Uh, so that's secure. All right. Next up, once you uh, once you get all that secure, you're gonna treat the uh, exhaust studs with a little bit of Permatex high temperature. Uh, that's going to secure them in nice and snug. These are the exhaust studs. They go up in the bottom. These are NCY branded products. We'll be using actual NCY branded exhaust studs. Or uh, exhaust nuts. These go on the studs to secure the muffler to the engine. The exhaust manifold gasket included is also a genuine NCY product. That will just be included and that will be installed when the muffler is installed. Okay, next step here is you got to install the intake studs, your gasket, and the riser. Uh, I'm just going to set those down on there. The seal will happen when the intake is put on. Then go ahead, put your intake manifold on. Like so. Once you put your intake on, go ahead and seal it with the two nuts. They're M10, which is 10 millimeter. And that brings to conclusion the installation of the Tata 61 millimeter big bore kit. All right, now in part three of this, we'll be installing the 12 pole uh, stator and flywheel. Uh, like I said in the other part one, if you want to discuss anything you uh, viewed, go to my forum at dansgaragetalk.com. Or if you want to purchase any parts, go to shop.mertonmopeds.com. All right, see you in part three. D Mark 95, I'm out.